Hi, I'm Chet Ferry, Senior R&D Manager here at Marshall Radio Telemetry. And I have to say that I have never ever seen or been involved with a design where tolerances are so tight and dimensions are so tiny as this. Inside here, you have 119 vias, 130 components, a microprocessor with 64K of memory, a GPS receiver, a UHF transmitter for a beeping signal backup, uh, a UHF receiver we can now communicate with, an innovative diplexer to share all the RF signals on one antenna, a creative power management system to run on just this tiny one-third end battery, status LEDs, magnet switch, etc. The RT GPS is just exponentially engineered on the inside with precision assembly that solved problems that honestly other engineers would have thought were just impossible. But that was the goal all along. We knew that if we could fit it into our proven, time-tested, waterproof RT case, we'd have something so small that customers could safely use it as a leg or a tail mount. When we, as an engineering team, first saw the real-time data streaming from a Peregrine last winter that was way up out of sight, wow, that was cool. <laughs> there were a lot of high fives, a lot of grins on our faces. What a cool project I've been privileged to be involved with. I can't believe I get paid to do this stuff. <laughs>
So we decided not to use a dedicated LCD screen to leverage the existing technologies and methods that we use for navigation, such as car navigation using a, an iPad or a cell phone. Leveraging those technologies, we're able to superimpose a tracking application, but the fact that we started with Apple doesn't mean that that's where we stay. Certainly we'll follow with Android applications. This thing provides a unique experience. It frees the falconer to continue to enjoy his relationship with his bird and does not get in the way, but instead enhances that experience, giving a new perspective that he could not have otherwise. Hello, I'm Robert Bagley, and I'm uh, one of the product testers here at Marshall Radio. Um, and this is the area where we do our product testing, a lot of it. This valley here behind us, hunting grounds, there's five valleys within 20 miles each direction. Um, but this particular place here, the logs I'm sitting on are where we hold the Malad Sky Trials. And these skies overhead are where we've laid down a lot of tracks over the past several months, fine-tuning and perfecting the AeroVision application. Here's what's new that hasn't existed before. Number one, we got this transmitter down to the actual size um, that we're familiar with, that we trust, that we've already used, um, uh, a proven design, waterproof, actual size, the one third end battery. Second, we knew that uh, a high data rate live streaming was going to be making the difference. And when we say live streaming, that's not just numbers coming every 10 seconds, every 15 seconds to some LCD screen that you have to kind of interpret and figure out what's happening. To us, live streaming was laying down a beautiful track in real time to the point where you were seeing what she was doing. The third thing that happened was developing a mapping app that presented you with what was going on. Uh, the live streaming actually was laying down on satellite imagery. That made all the difference. And those three things haven't existed until now. We primarily designed this for the US and European falconers and their style of flying birds. Uh, in the Gulf, it'll be different still, and we have a different product in mind for them. Now, our customers were emphatic that they did not want to depend on mobile phone service. Um, the mobile phone companies will tell you they have total coverage in these areas, but there's a valley right here to the north we go to, one to the west, one to the northwest, another to the east. They show they have coverage, but when you get up there, no service. Here in the United States, and especially the western United States, so many places that our customers go, uh, you cannot count on having consistent mobile service and the experience we wanted for people was consistency, reliability, always there. So we went with a direct connect approach. Um, we have customers uh, in parts of the Gulf that go to really remote places where they've got to set up their own facilities and camps. They, of course they couldn't depend on mobile service so they wanted direct connect. And the AeroVision mapping app allows you to preload the satellite imagery and your favorite hunting area so when you go there you're not worried about downloading information you've done it via Wi-Fi the night before. We had uh, a number of fun ways to test to see how far out we could go with the data. Um, one of them was we put the bird up here close came in with the helicopter right after she was on the wing and flew away from her and the thinking was let's see how far we can go line, true line of sight point to point in the air. We got out to 30 miles um, line of sight and we're sitting here watching her track 30 miles away knowing exactly where she is and what she's doing moment by moment in real time. Amazing. Link. Then we ended up um, taking the antenna off the pocket link and hooking it up to an Omni and driving away from a soaring eagle so that we had truck based to the bird in the air connection line of sight and got out to 50 kilometers actually 30 miles. We also turned loose pigeons um, up in a remote area that had no cell service. Um, we wanted to simulate a bird that was actually leaving and trying to keep up with it. So we originally thought of this thing as a training tool, a training device. Little tiny battery, uh, line of sight connection. What we didn't expect was the total change in our paradigm of how amazing it was to watch the action live. Those moments when they're out of sight, there's not that anxiety that kind of comes, well, what's she doing, where's she going, who has her, who lost her? Um, you just look down and you glance and you say, oh, she's that direction, looks like she's 3,000 feet away, she's up 1,100 feet and she's still circling, great. That simple. And of course, the recovery is like 10 times different as well because you're strategizing as it's happening. You're making decisions with knowing what's going on rather than guessing. That to us was a big surprise and just fun.
Okay, now she's heading off towards the DDCR gate, huh? Okay, she's making another turn at that. Yeah, this is very cool, actually. Okay, now she's coming back. She's being naughty, isn't she? <laughs>